So with The Runaways' third season out right now on Hulu, this more or less signifies the end of the old era of Marvel TV. There's still a few things yet to come, but more or less, this is it, and Runaways was a huge fan favorite. Let's talk about why everything fell apart. Now, right away, I should say, it's not just Runaways and Cloak and & Dagger and, you know, Ghost Rider that was canceled and all of the Marvel Netflix stuff, you know. There was a lot of pieces in play with various different uh, studios having hands-on with different projects and everything that all kind of led to such rapid cancellations of everything. Now, of course, when it came to the likes of Cloak and & Dagger, and the Runaways, the fanfare was there. When you look at the other one, like Ghost Rider, it wasn't even shooting already, so cutting costs and not even going to production saved them. But back to the Runaways, recently sitting down with The Wrap, which you guys can find the article linked down below. Unfortunately, you do have to subscribe and pay for it if you guys want to read the entire thing, and I'm not going to go over the entire thing they say in that article, but what they do talk about is rather eye-opening. So when specifically talking about the ideas that were behind the Runaways and going further down the road doing more seasons and talking about, you know, the all connected thing, which was a factor, they say that everything was out of their hands when it came to the future of the show. And without directly saying it, it's due to what was happening at Marvel TV. The changeover, you know, the, uh, I guess, shift over to everything under Kevin Feige. This show found itself a casualty along with everything else that wasn't under the new leadership. So if the guy currently taking over, Kevin Feige, didn't greenlight this and it wasn't something that he himself had hands on directly with every step of the way, there was just nothing there. And they go on and talk about the different aspects of, you know, how they would have to reach out to certain things and what they were allowed to do, what they weren't allowed to do. And you kind of just get a sense of the uh, corporate mentality that was there the entire time and kind of how uh, everything on TV from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. to Runaways to everything else, how they were kind of um, hamstrung almost in every way. But now, of course, with this show doing what it did, you know, having three seasons, and then other shows that also didn't get to complete their arcs. It seems like, um, in that piece at least, like, they don't believe they'll ever get to complete or maybe even continue with these characters anywhere. So, it looks like what was done is done, and that's more or less that for a majority of the characters that were a part of that entire thing. 